welcome to your 30 minute killer core and glutes. We're gonna just need a mat, a towel, something soft, grab your water. We're gonna do 30 minutes straight, no repeat, warm up and cool down included. Let's do it. Let's warm up, start with some shoulder rolls, up into the ears, soft knees. Go the other way, reverse the circle, up and over. Good, big breath in your lungs. All right, turn it out, toes out, heels in, plie down. Oh. Sweep your arms like you're doing a jumping jack. Turn your inner thighs to me. Knees out. All right, hands to heart. Pulse it for three, two, up to the top. Pulse three, two. So wake up those legs. Go in three, two, turn those toes forward, side lunge left and right. Reach the arm in front. Push your heel into the ground. Wave the foot outside. Zip it up. Same move. Reach overhead, let's go. Reach, reach. Side stretch. Bicep close to the ear, please. Sit the hips back. Four more. Three, two. All right, reach for the opposite foot. So you're gonna just reach, reach. You have your hand like your thigh. Some of you are ready to windmill. Last one. Heel toe it in, please. Heel toe, heel toe. Shake it out. Good. Give your right knee a hug. And then your left knee. Can we go? Right squeeze. And left squeeze. Pull it up. There you go. So like a little pulse, pulse to the top. Pulse, pulse. Open up those arms. Make a big T. Pulse, pulse. Good. One more. Little twist, twist to the right, just rotate, shoulder across, pick up the heel. So most of our class is actually going to be down on the floor today. Excellent. All right, some basic squats. So reach your hands forward, butt back. We're going to do a lot of squats. It's a butt class. You can expect that. Can you shine your chest forward. Right now, right leg, reach it back. Arms overhead, lunge it. Switch it. Left side, reach. It's just getting blood everywhere. And practicing some of our movements. So we're going to do faster during the workout. A little quicker. Right, left. Good. One more. And rest. Water here if you need it. We're going to head into our first working song. Take your toes out a little wider than your hips. We're just going to drop into the squat. Back up. Think about sitting your glutes into a chair. Knees tracking the same line as the toes. Okay, stay down. Hold it. Hold it. Reach one leg back. Back to the center. Switch it. Other leg back. Back to the center. Stretch it back. Chest up. One more. All right. All the way up. Squat down. More time. Four. Three. Two. Stay down. Stay down. Hold it. Reach those legs back. Reach back. Four. Three. Stay down. Stay down. Two. Up to the top. Squat it. Four. Three. You know what to do, right? Stay down. Stay down. Hold it. Stretch it back. Four. Three. Stay lower. Now squat for two, here we go, two. Stay here, lunge it, two. Squat up and down. Stay here, lunge it, ow. Now hold the bottom, pulse it, pulse it for three. One lunge back on four. Stretch back, three, other side. Stretch back, pulse, pulse. Woo. Think about pulling that belly button in. You're feeling this in your quads too. Your butt's working, I promise. One more. Ow, toes out, plie. So you're gonna go down, up, 
I'm gonna turn to the side here so you can see. Same thing we did during the warm up. Bigger now though. It's your warm. Tailbone towards the floor. All right, arms in a T. Pulse it for three, three, two. Take your right arm across. Twist. Now your left arm across. Pick up the left heel and twist. Three, two. You're gonna pivot. Yeah, can we do one squat? One lunge pivot, plie, lunge, plie. Did you get it? Keep going, I'm gonna turn a different angle here for you to see. Taking that heel up every time. Pulse again, three times, pulse in, three, two, twist on four. Other way, twist on four, use the arms. Ah! One more, three, two. Let's curtsy to your right. So step into that curtsy. To the left. Step. Cross. Find the floor. Hey, hey. Little bigger step right here. Big step. Cross. Big step. Cross. Good. Load up that hip. Try to keep your chest up even better than I was doing. Keep the chest up. One more. All right, center, hold those squats. Big down and up, down. Up, reach those arms to me. Low in those legs. Working through the knees, but a lot through the hips because you're going to sit your hips back, right? Sit them back. One more, hold it. Hold the bottom, hold it, hold, hold, hold. Pull it out. Water if you need it. We're headed into some side lunges and balances. If you would like to hold on to something for balance, go get a piece of furniture. Grab a ball. <laughs> I'm going to turn diagonal for you. You're going to take a right lunge, reach in front of your shin, and then push it up. Find your balance. Three, two, here we go. Sweep down. Right leg. Balance. Do it again. Right leg. Two more. Sweep in front of the shin. Find the balance. One more. Stay here on the balance. We're gonna tip it forward, tip it forward. Hands behind your head, reach it, reach it. And then right back in. Woo! Reach, lengthen. You can always put your toe down. That's all right. Reach it, lengthen. Last one. All right, you wanna go ahead, shake it out. We're gonna switch legs. Your left leg's gonna lunge. You're gonna front of the shin, pull the top. Three, two, one, nice and slow. Find the balance. Shin, ballerina. Two more. Stick the landing. One more. Stay up here at the top. Hands behind your ears. Hinge it forward. Lengthen your leg behind you. Back to the top. Fingers behind those ears. Woo, wobbling. Two more. Pick a spot on the floor. Stare at it. Yes. Last one. Good, good. Check it out. I want you to find the center of your mat, whatever that is for you. I'll turn to the other side. We're gonna go right leg. Here we go, four side lunges. Sweet, lift. A little faster. Three, give me one more. Hold that top, fingers behind your ears. Stretch it back. <laughs> back up. Don't watch, I'm falling. Okay, three more. Lengthen. Up to the top. Smile, okay, don't take yourself too seriously. Last one. Oh, beautiful. Step it down. Four, three, left leg. Four lunges. Oh, we're going faster. That's right. A little quicker here. Hey, hey, last one. All right, stick the landing. Hands behind your ears. Stretch it back. Okay. Pull that chest back up. Wobble as much as you need. Last one. Beautiful. Right leg. Two and two. Here we go. Let's reach. Take it down. Now hold the top. Actually, it's just one. Switch it. Left leg, please. Down. And then hold the top. Just one. Four, three, two. Ah Switch legs as she falls. Now hold the top. Stretch it back. And in. To the left. 
hold the top. Four. Yes, I did it. All right, awesome. We are headed down to the floor. Come on into your first quadruped. Quadruped is hands and knees. So palms under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Lengthen your back, please. So pull your tailbone away from your ears, ears away from your shoulders. Let's start with the right leg, lift it up. Down. So you're just doing like a little, a little donkey raise right there. Lift it up. Beautiful. Same leg. Go ahead and take it out to the side, fire hydrant. Same leg. In fact, this whole song is this leg. Sorry. Zip up that belly. Let's put them together a little bit. To the back four times. Four. Three. 90 degrees on your knee. All right. Now four fire hydrants. How's your posture? Eyes on the mat. All right, let's take it back for two. Lift it for two. Fire hydrant two. There it is. Do it one more time. Come on, two and two. Straight back. Fire hydrant. All right, we're gonna add, we're gonna stay up and pull. Three pulses. Three, two, then to the side. Three. Donkey kick, three pulses up at the top. Belly button in, wrap your ribs together, side. Let's add a little kick out. So you're gonna lift it up, kick it out, then to the side. Same thing, up, kick it out. That's the hard one, baby. Straight up, kick out. Yeah, you got it. All right, we're gonna go just straight back, in and out. So kick it out, pull it in. Kick it out, pull it in. Can you square your hips? Try to point your shoelaces down. Toes to the floor. You got two more. Keep your hip high. Hold it there. We're just going to tap and lift. Lift. Now, here's the point in the workout where you might enjoy coming down to your forearms. Feel free. Come on down if that feels right for you. All right. Stay up there. Point that toe. Let's circle. Circle. Ribs together. Eyes on the floor. Go the other way. So your toe is pointing away from your body. Get a little more extension there. Whew. All right, little pulses. Pulse it for pulse. Pulse. Stay up. Come on, stay up. Your standing leg is working a lot. Stabilizing you. Fight for it. Fight for it. That same leg is going to lift it. Rainbow. Here we go. Lift it up. Cross it over. And then the outside edge. Lift rainbow. Make it controlled. Make it look easy. So here's the good news. We're going to do all the same moves on the other side. The next song is about the same length and same BPMs. Four. Come on. Three. Stay with me. Two. And up and hold it. Hold it. Strike that pose. And release, take a quick child's pose because we're gonna switch sides. So come back into your tabletop. We're gonna go into that left leg next. Take a straight back, back to the floor. So side two, donkeys. <laughs> I don't know, I just call them donkeys. Lift it up. Hips are parallel. Same leg, now to the side. Take it to that fire hydrant. Now if your wrists are dicey, you can always just put your knuckles down. Can you use some dumbbells as handles. Can you pull out of your shoulders? Combo time. Four back, four side. Four. Three. Knee flex. Two. To the side, please. Four times. Oh. Feeling it. Ready to cut it? Two back, two side. Here we go, donkey. Fire hydrant. Here it is, two. Do it again. One more set of two. Lift it straight back. Try to parallel the hips now to the side. Ooh, okay, one and one. Here we go. One back. Back. No, I am not claiming I have perfect form. I'm always a work in progress. I'm trying to keep my spine long. Ooh, I have imbalances too. I'm a human. One more. We're going to add the pulse. Pulse it up for three. Here we go. Pulse it. Three, two. Back to the bottom, now to the side. Up, up. Yeah, squeeze. 
Firming through your hands. We're gonna add that kick out. Straight back, here we go, lift it up, kick it out. Same thing to the side. Here's where you gotta really fire up the core. Try to fight the rotation. A little anti-rotation there. Out, kicking. All right, we're just gonna do straight out and back. So out, pull it in. Think about your hamstring here. Your gaze is forward on the mat after you know what we're doing, after you're done looking at the screen. Plant those hands, but firm your finger pads. Okay, we're gonna just stay straight, tap and lower. Pick it up. Woo. Now here's the part of the workout where you can come on down with those forearms. If that suits you, it kind of helps me to get a little higher without dumping in my low back. Woo, stay up at the top, point those toes. Now circle, circle. A nice crisp circle. Think about squaring those hips. Good, reverse direction, circle the other way. Hang tight, hang tight. We're gonna hold those pulses in the middle. Pull straight up and down, just tiny little pulses. Tiny, good. Four, three, let's add the rainbow. So up and over, crossing the midline. And then to the outside mat. Lift, rainbow. Everything you got right here and a little bit more. Don't quit when you're tired. Quit when you're done. One more. Woo, can you hold it, strike a pose? Hold it, squeeze. And release, take a quick, quick child's pose. We're gonna flip on over to your left side. <laughs> left side, please, so that your right leg is your worker. Toes together, elbow under your shoulder. You're just gonna open and close. Clamshell, open, close. Big toes together. Let's talk about your upper body. If you're shrugging, consider maybe laying on your biceps or hiding your hands. You do you, baby. Just make sure you're not putting a kink in your neck. Let's pick up the bottom heel, hold it there, hold. A little more from this inner thigh. Once again, same deal. All one side for the whole song. Let's add. Now up, kick the sky. Lift it up, kick the sky. Undo the whole thing. Kick. Come on, come on, it's an external rotation of the hip. Last one. This leg stays here, bottom leg rests. Just kick it out, kick it out, back in. So yes, you're gonna get your quad fired up here. Extend. Push those shoelaces to me like you're moving through water or mud. One more. Stay out there, you're gonna tap to the front. Two taps, tap it front, up and over. Good, up. So I'm gonna have to reduce my range of motion to keep up with the music, that's okay. Lose the music and do a bigger one. Tap, tap, two times lift. Tap, Hot potato. Hot potato, like you're just bouncing that potato on the floor. Don't let it touch, right? Okay, now you're gonna stay in the middle right here. Lengthen out the spine, lengthen out the hips. Stack your knees, you're gonna pick yourself up. So bottom elbow under your shoulder, pick yourself up. You're in that side plank. Option. You can keep your bottom knee bent, or you could walk your bottom leg out, pushing the outer edge of your foot into the floor. Top leg, front, second, or third option. Stack those ankles. Options are endless. Hold that plank, make it strong. Come on, make it strong. Ooh. All right, we're gonna add dips. So you're just gonna lower and lift. Here we go, just dip them down, press back up. Right hand to the sky, you can look at it. I kind of look looking straight forward. Try not to let your head fall down like this, right? Keep it in line with your spine. Ooh, stay up at the top, let's thread the needle right here. Thread it, exhale, round, back up. So you're gonna just wrap. Reach for your back here. Squeeze your midsection. Get those obliques. Release, hips to the floor, nice job. Go ahead and lie all the way down on your bicep. Take your top leg, give it a little stretch. You earn this. We're gonna take a quick twist here. So your top leg's gonna drop in front and then open up your back arm to the back of the room. Take that nice twist. If you get a pop, cool. Excellent, unwind it. Slowly push yourself up. You're gonna swing your legs over for side two. 
safe series, but second leg. So stack your knees, elbow under your shoulder, try to lengthen your spine, and I'm gonna try to have better form this round. Big toes together, make it go like that, right? I'm gonna have good form, I'm gonna try to have better form. Me too. It's a clamshell. Here we go, open close. Leg two, <laughs> leg two is tough. There we go. Okay, so you know how we up level this, right? Your bottom foot, can you float it? Get that inner thigh, turn it on. Think about rotating, get it out of that hip. Okay, right, we're gonna add a little kick out. Hold the top, kick it. Toes in and close. So it's like a four part move. One, two, three. Last one, here it is. Stay up at the top here, bottom leg rest. Just tap two times, tap, tap, lift. Back corner, front corner, hot potato. So we're getting a lot of good abduction and into your glute medius too. So that's the side of your butt. Helps you have that little like dented look. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that glute med. Holds up you, it holds you inwards, so you don't fall sideways. Last time. Good, all right, just the kicks right here, in and out. In and squeeze, think about the front of the quad. Stay lifted. You could always lie down though, that's always an option if you wanted it. One more. Excellent, release that leg, stack your knees, stack your hips, bring your elbow under your shoulder now. You're gonna bring everything up and hold a nice stationary side plank. Level one or easiest version here. Maybe you walk your top leg forward and lengthen your bottom leg out, push into the outer edge of your foot a little bit harder. Next level, take it or leave it. Stack your ankles. It's harder, right? You have less base of support. So it's a little more balanced challenge. Let's add our hip dips. Down and up, here we go. Hips to the floor, pick them up. Good. For that side waist, the low handle area. There you go. All right, stay up on this one. We're gonna wrap, thread the needle right here, thread. Try to keep your hips nice and high. Exhale. Yes, there it is, round it. You're almost there, team. Three more songs. Yeah, so our next song, we are gonna be headed to lying down prone. That's the part where you might want a mat if you're on some kind of dirty floor. Last two, wrap it. Really squeeze those obliques, last one. We get a little stretch break. All right, lower the hips, lie on down onto the bicep. Bend your top knee, catch that shoelace. Rest your head. Woo, let's take our twist. Drop your front knee in front, or top knee in front. Reach your arm to the back. A little twist there, a little pop, pop. Beautiful, bring it on in. We're gonna face the floor here. So palms under the shoulders, tuck those toes under. Find your very first plank position of the class, elbows soft. Good, we're just gonna take a little warm up in your wrists, so just push forward with the toes and back. Forward and back, just to get your wrists limbered up here. Butt down, excellent. Let's take one more for good measure. I'm gonna have you lower to your forearms now. Hold that forearm plank. We're just gonna march the knees. So bend and bend. Right, left, march them out. You keep your glutes down, your head in line with your spine. All right, two knees, both knees down. Tap them both, pick them up. Wrap those ribs in together. We're gonna head to that prone series. Last one. Melt your whole belly down, melt your whole belly down. Make a pillow for your forehead. You're gonna lift both legs and lower them down with control. Pick up your shoes, turn your inner thigh bones in and up. So that your toenails face down, they're not flaring out. One more. All right, now the upper body. Fingers behind your ears, reverse crunch and lower down, think like a Superman. Lift up, chin slightly tucked. Excellent, one more. Squeeze. All right, bend your right knee, flex that foot, you're gonna lift and lower. Like you're putting a footprint on the ceiling. Just lift your right quad. 
Pick it up, put it down, squeeze your butt. One more. Switch it, bend your left knee. You're gonna pick up the left foot now. Right shoelace to the floor. Pick up your left quad. Put that footprint on the ceiling. Forehead on your hands. One more. Switch it back to that right side. Here we go, eight. <laughs> right where you think you don't have any left. You have eight more, right? <laughs> Four more, come on, please. Suction your belly button in. Last two. All right, release that foot, left knee, bend it. Here we go, eight. Pick up that quad. Squeeze the back side here. You'll feel this when you get up. Four. Three. Last two. All right, take those reverse crunches until the end of the song. Squeeze it. Think about getting a nice spinal squeeze right there. So your spine, not the, not the bones, but the muscles that support it. You have a lot, actually. Right, we reach the arms overhead. Make it a little bit harder by lengthening your lever. Oh yeah, much harder. Thumbs are up. Okay. Hold the top here. We're gonna swim the arms. Here we go, swim up, swim, swim. Yep, so just kind of lift and lower like you're flutter kicking your arms. Next level, could you lift your legs and flutter those as well. Beamers to the floor, kneecaps down. Don't let them turn out. One more set of eight. Oh, swimmers are so hard because we need them so much. Because your back muscles tend to get pretty weak and that's why our posture kind of sucks. Let's work it, work it, let's go. Four, three, two, rest. Slide your elbows in. Pick a quick little sphinx. Lift up your heart, lift up your chest. Plant those hands, pick it up. Round your back, roll it into a child's pose. We gotta transition quickly. We're gonna lie on our back here. So swing your feet to the front of the mat. Roll yourself down. Just start with a basic crunch. Lift the head and shoulders. Back down to the floor. Lift up and down. Fingers are light, the base of the skull. Good, we're gonna add a little faster, some speed here. Lift, lower. Exhale it up. Now, if your neck gets kind of crunchy, try pushing backwards with your head into your hands, or you could do something with your lower body. All right, we're gonna twist, so slow it down. Lift it up, twist, then go the other way. Lift up, little twist at the top. So you're holding contraction, hold, twist. Yeah, one more. Okay, lose the hold. We're just gonna go twist, twist, right, left. Twist, twist. This is your ab finisher. Rotate it. Now, my overachievers, if you'd like to, start picking up those knees. March it, march it. Opposite elbow towards opposite shoulder. Sorry, towards opposite knee. <laughs> Please keep those elbows nice and wide away from your shoulders. I got up at 4.30 this morning, so. If it shows in my queuing, I'm sorry. Last two. All right, hands by your hips, both legs in the air. You're gonna lower on both, halfway down, and then zip right back up. If you wanna sit on your hands, that's a great modification. <laughs> you can also bend your knees, and then bring it back up. One more, slow. All right, single them out, right, left. So drop one, pick it up. Drop one, pick it up. Once again, you can sit on those hands. If you're finding your back starting to arch, a little scissor, a little leg lower. Good. Woo. <laughs> All right, reverse crunch, lift the hip, lift and lower. Push those hands down, try to put your feet on the floor, or sorry, on the ceiling. Push your hands into the floor, last two. All right, open, close the legs, point those toes, scissor, out and in. Chop the paper between your thighs right here, like your scissors. All right, really grip the mat with your hands. We're gonna make it a little bit faster. Quick, 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 quick. There it is, little tiny chops. Crisscross the legs. Option to bend those knees if you need it. Can you take it out a little bit, like a 45? Ooh, that was hard. Three, two, one, rest. Hug those knees, plant those feet, hands by your sides. You're gonna bridge it up, both feet pressed down, lower with control. Think about knees pointing forward. Arms by those sides. 
a little bit faster here with the bridge. So bridge it up, release, do two more for good measure. Hold this last one, hold it, hold it, hold it. And release, lower your hips slowly. Oh, take the knees from right to left. Windshield wiper. You did it, congratulations. <laughs> Whew, keep your right knee, pull it in. Take your left leg and just kick it out, straight it out. Roll your ankle, give it some love. Excellent, switch sides. Keep your left knee, pick your right leg out. Do you feel that on your core? Holy cow, I do. Circle the ankle. All right, we're gonna take a hip stretch here. So right leg up to the sky, cross it over your left ankle. Either push the knee open or you can reach through the window of your legs, hug it in for figure four. Go ahead and flex those feet. I don't think I'm on my, on my mat. I'm on carpet anyway. <laughs> but if you're not on carpet, you would notice if you accidentally rolled off your mat. Release it, uncross it. We're gonna switch another side. Left ankle over the right thigh, push it open. Or maybe reach through, hug it. Outer hip stretch is where you should be feeling this. Right here. Those clamshells. Those leg lifts. Good. Slow release it. The squats, right? Roll your knees to one side, whichever one you want. Push yourself on up. All right. Let's take ourselves into a little side stretch. Kick your right leg out to the side. Left sole of the foot to your inner thigh. Stretch up and over with your left arm. Ribs to the sky. Right hand outside your shoe or your foot. Come on up, turn and face your thigh, roll it on down. So maybe you'll feel this in your low back a little bit because we did a lot of back work. Your back is part of your core. Your core has like something like 26 muscles. Bring it on up, switch sides. Take the left leg in and the left leg out and the right leg in. Let's take our side stretch. Open up that waist, get a stretch here. You can have a hand on the shoe or outside the ankle or shin. Good, turn and face your leg. Let's just walk towards your foot, your shin, your foot, whatever you can find. Good, walk it on up, beautiful. Let's go ahead and take the palms under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Let's do that cat cow roll here. Chin to your chest, drop your tailbone, shoulder blades apart. Reverse it, chest up, heart up, tailbone up. One more, roll it through. Stretch in the back. And then as you drop into cow, you get a stretch in your belly. Tuck the toes, pick those knees up, press your hips up and back. Go ahead and pedal your feet here. Get a little stretch for your calves and your hamstrings. Let your head hang heavy, downward facing dog. Excellent, tiptoe your feet towards your hands. One footprint at a time. Soft knees, roll it all the way up, head up last. Take your time, no hurry. Shoulder rolls to the top workout today team i hope you enjoyed this workout if you did please leave a like comment subscribe all the things that help me out to know if this was a good piece of content or not see you in the next one